what's up what's up happy monday youtube followers <laughs> so we are 10 weeks out from my first show of the year um and so i'm cranking it up a little bit today i'm gonna add in the stairs i made a set meal plan last night same macros um but I just wanted to be consistent and have the same foods every day. So I made my set meal plan. I added in a little bit different um, exercises and my glute ham split today. I did some reverse lunges. Um, everything else was the same. So basically what I'm doing on my Monday glute and ham split, I start off with some line ham curls, superset with some glute kickbacks. Then I go into hip abduction then I did some barbell RDLs, and then I hit the single leg leg press. I'm loving that. I'm really loving single leg leg press. I feel it so much in my glutes. Then I wanted to go hip thrust several times. Someone was on the machine. I usually do that as my third exercise, but someone was there, someone was there. So then I did reverse lunges with a barbell. Then I went in and hip thrust, and I end that with a drop set, and then I jumped on the treadmill for 15 more minutes. Um, so I'm 60 minutes in on flat walking, 8,600 steps. So my goal is 12 to 14,000 steps a day. Really, I want to be at 14,000 steps a day. But today I'm adding in the stair climber. So I will be coming back after work and hitting the stairs. Uh, man, it's starting to feel like prep now because, I mean, yeah, the last four weeks I pretty much just cut out cheap meals and alcohol. And now we're getting a business. The stairs are added in, set meal plan, time to crank it up, let's go. Okay, so I just got back to the gym, second time today to do stairs. I'm honestly dreading this. I am 100% dreading this. I do not wanna do this. It's hot as hell outside. It's so freaking hot. I'm exhausted from working all day. This is the last thing I want to do, but this is prep and this is what you have to do. So here I go. Here I go. Woo! All right. I made it through my very first stair climber workout of this prep. <laughs> Let me tell you, that shit was hard. I did level seven for 14 minutes and then the last minute I did level eight. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm telling you, as soon as I got off of there, like I could feel it in my legs. I trained legs this morning too, so I'm probably really feeling it, but yeah, I can feel it. And I will say, this is why I go to the gym in the morning. Oh. <laughs> Great, some guy just almost hit me. Wow, holy crap. An old man, of course, people that shouldn't be driving. Anyways, this is why I don't go to the gym this time of day. There's way too many people here. All these little high schoolers, which you know what, it's good they're in the gym, but they're all just like standing around talking, trying to flirt with girls, like not even working out, and I just can't handle that. So that's why I come early in the morning. <laughs> I just didn't, I could not do stairs after my workout this morning. My legs were toast for my workout. So tomorrow I have upper body, so I will definitely be doing the stairs after my workout and not coming back here. Woo! But I'm making it! Yes! Okay, so I'm going into Publix because I go to Publix like every day almost. And I don't have a shirt. So I'm going to my sports bra and shorts. And I don't know if this is acceptable or not. And it's really embarrassing, but we're going to go with it. Okay, I'm keeping my shades on, so hopefully nobody notices me. So far, two managers walked right by me and they didn't say anything, so this must be okay. Or maybe they don't want to lose customers. I don't know, but I feel very awkward. Okay, you guys, I made it in and out of Publix <laughs> like this and uh, didn't get stopped. It did feel a little awkward. Oh my gosh, here comes a chicken running across the road. Love my neighborhood. So yeah, I don't have my seatbelt on right now. I just pulled in my neighborhood. Um, I'm a rebel, I'm a rebel. I feel safe though. You should wear your seatbelt always. Don't take my advice. Um, but yeah, so 
I did something. I got a Ninja Creamy. <laughs> I feel kind of dumb in a way because I never fall for gimmicks or I never follow trends. Like I just like to be my own self. But you guys know I am obsessed with ice cream. I'm obsessed with the lights. So this was a must for me because I really put it off for months and months and months. And then when I got in prep and I can't really have my ice cream every weekend like I've been doing in off season. I had my last delights last weekend um, because I just don't really know what all's in there. And when I'm in prep, I sometimes I'll have delights further into prep. But right now I just want to cut out all variables that could be holding me back. So I'm like, all right, a Ninja Creamy it is because I know exactly what's going into it. So we're about to try this out. It was delivered today. Um, I don't know anything about it. I've been asking a few people. I do know that you have to like freeze it overnight so I can't even enjoy one tonight, which that's one thing that was holding me back from getting it because I don't like the fact that you can't have it right then and there. Like you have to wait. I don't like waiting. I'm very impatient. That's one of my flaws. I am a very impatient person. Nick will tell you. Um, I'm always got to go, go, go. I'm, I'm early to everything. Like, I don't know. But anyways, you guys can see this thing. It's still like healing i guess i don't know but i just don't like it i hate how it looks it's been hurting anytime i train up her body so i don't know it's just frustrating but i got my hair done today i got the extensions moved up i went to a new girl because the girl i was using all last year during competition season Haley, i loved her but she moved away um, so I had to find someone new. So I'm using this girl that, um, Haley, who I competed with last year, recommended to me. She's like 40 minutes from my house. So it's kind of far, but she was awesome. She was so sweet, very professional, good price and did a good job. So I will be returning to her. Um, but yeah, just got home about to eat my meal for, uh, soak in the bath. <laughs> Day two of the stairs is done. You guys, oh my gosh. I don't know how people enjoy the stairs. I absolutely hate the stairs probably because I mean, the stairs are hard for anyone, but for me, like it's so hard. I get out of breath so quick and I get these massive headaches. It's just very, very hard to do any intense cardio with my heart condition. Like my heart rate goes through the roof. And even like, I know people are probably like, oh, well, you're out of shape or whatever, because I haven't done it in so long. You got to get used to it. But even, even last prep doing the stairs every single day, I never get used to it. It's just really hard for me. Um, but it's no excuse. That's why I still am doing it. I just know I got my pictures back today from the angel fashion show from on stage. I'll put a couple in. In here and like. It was a wake up call for me. I know I was not, I know I was like, I think 11 weeks out or 10 weeks out. Yeah, I was 11 weeks out when I did it or maybe 12. I can't remember, but 12 or 11 weeks out. I think 11 weeks out when I did it. But seeing those pictures, it was like a wake up call. It's like, okay, I have more body fat to lose than I thought I did. So I, I need to really get to cranking here, which is what I did this week. So, yep. I got to embrace the suck, you know, this is the part of prep where you got to just embrace it and enjoy the process. So working hard these days. You guys, I just barely made it out of the gym. I just walked out of that leg day dead, dead. My legs are dead. <laughs> I barely could walk out in the parking lot. Oh my gosh. I literally crushed it today with legs. I, um, so what I did was I did seated ham curls, a uh, single leg press, which I'm really liking. I'm feeling it so much like in my glutes, lower glute, ham tie-in area, loving it. Single leg press. Then I went into good mornings on the reverse hack squat. I haven't done those in a while. Um, felt good really really felt it then i did some hip thrusts i went back to maxing out the machine i think it's like 320 pounds i got two sets of 10 no the first set was 10 reps second set was seven reps and then i took off the weights down to 135 pounds and did drop set so that was fun and then i did reverse lunges on the smith machine and then hip abduction felt so good then I finished it off with 15 minutes walking on the treadmill Woo! crushed it I'm gonna be sore tomorrow 
Actually, I'm already feeling it. And then I'll come back after seeing patients and do my 15 minutes on the stairs followed by another 15 minutes on the treadmill. So that's what I'm doing right now. Seems like a lot of cardio, but it's mostly steps minus a treadmill. Next week, I'm starting incline, if not before then. I just really need to be making things happen right now. I was looking yesterday at my pictures from last August at this time when I was 10 weeks out from the hurricane and the hurricane show. And I was way ahead, you know, but I, I had been in prep already for 20 weeks and I had just depleted for two back-to-back -back shows. So, you know, I'm just like, okay, like I want to bring the same look I brought to Hurricane last year, just a little bit better, obviously. Uh, but I, that was my best look, I think. So I'm like, okay, Ashley, it's time to make things happen. I want to be better. I want to be better. So I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it right now. And uh, we're going to see what happens. So I just got back to the gym for more cardio for the stairs and I have a massive headache. This is what happens with my condition is when it gets really hot, I get these really, really, really bad headaches and my head's pounding and Nick's like, you just need to go home. And I'm like, nope, I'm not going home until I get the stairs done. And it's like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I just took some Tylenol a little bit ago, but... I can't just sit out, you know, this is where I have to push myself and this happens every prep. Like I get these bad headaches and I have to just do it. I have to just work out, do cardio, feeling like shit. And that's, sounds crazy, but what about, what is my other choice? To sit home and be lazy because I get these headaches a lot. And it's like, if I literally sat down every time I get these headaches, I would never accomplish anything. So... Oh, I'm dreading this. I'm just gonna put my headphones in, listen to something, distract myself, and get it done. That's what you gotta do. All right, you guys, I survived. I did the stairs, and then I did the rest of my cardio on the treadmill, 35 minutes total. Um, I made it. I made it. I actually feel a little bit better. I took some Tylenol before I went in there. Um, so to get me through, I found this girl on YouTube. It just popped up, uh, Kristen Pope. She's a fitness pro and she's did the Tampa pro. She's freaking incredible. So I watched three of her YouTubes through my cardio. Um, so I'm going to start following her YouTube now. I subscribed and, uh, maybe it'll get me through the rest of my cardio sessions. God, I look like a hot mess. <sighs> I gotta go get some egg whites and chicken and then head home and eat my next meal, soak in the bath. I started doing salt baths again every night this or every afternoon this week. I think it really helps with inflammation, especially doing the stairs now and legs and I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted, but I don't know. It's it feels like prep now. This is prep. This is prep. Okay, it's in. Oh God, here we go. Oh my God, here we go. Oh my God, is it gonna blow up? Wow, this is intense. Yeah, it sounds like it's gonna blow up. Yeah, the bottom's kind of like weird. Just mix it up. ninja creamy you guys i had my first ninja creamy last night it was incredible i am not one for trends i thought it was just a fad 
but I love ice cream. You guys know I love Delights. Delights is an hour and 45 minutes for me, and I don't truly know what all is in it. This was literally like the same consistency as Delights, just as good. Honestly, I was telling Jordan that I might like it better because I can make all my own different flavors. I do love Delights still, and I'll always be a diehard Delights fan, but this Ninja Creamy is bomb. It is so incredible. I can't wait till like off season to make all kinds of cool creations. Me and Jordan, um, Jordan Brandon, she's an IFBB pro, just got her Olympia qualification. So shout out to Jordan. So excited for her. Um, me and her were talking about last night about Ninja Creamies and she actually helped me through my first one because that thing turned on and it was so loud. I thought it was gonna blow up and she was like, no, no, it's normal. I was freaking out. I, like, I'm, I don't know, my heart was racing for, through this process because I'm like, I've heard of people breaking theirs. I've heard of stuff going wrong, but Jordan, help me out. Love you. Um, but we were talking about like different creations and off season. And Jordan is a huge fan of Drizzle Cookie. Her and Drew, they love my cookies. Um, so we were talking about making like creamies that are Drizzle Cookie inspired. First, I was like, oh, I'm gonna put some Drizzle Cookies in a creamy. Then I was like, we were both like at the same time, like, oh, what if we did like the mix-ins that go in the drizzle cookies in the creamy? So like drizzle creamies, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to launch my fall flavors. I haven't talked about the cookies in a while. I kind of like, I'm still getting orders, but I haven't done a launch in like three weeks or four. I mean, this is the longest I've gone without a launch in like four years, I think. Um, I've just been in prep and I didn't want to be around the cookies. And this is kind of a slow July and August are my two slowest months. I looked back at the books because I was like, man, why is it so slow? But it has been every year. It's like people are going back to school, things are going on, summer's over. Um, so, you know, people just aren't thinking about buying cookies right now, but fall flavors are coming out. Um, last year I launched them on the like end of August. I usually do Labor Day weekend. I blast out the fall flavors, but I may start a little early. What is, what is today? 17th? I don't know, my watch isn't showing me the date. I don't know what day it is. It's like the 17th or 18th. So I'm gonna like this weekend perfect some fall flavors and probably bust them out next weekend, which will be the end of fall, or I mean the end of August, which was like last year when I launched them. So if you're a Drizzle Cookie fan and you have bought my cookies before, you know how amazing they are. Thank you. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna be launching some fall ones soon. If you haven't tried Drizzle Cookies, you need to because they will change your life. And I'm not just saying that because I am the owner and creator I love all cookies, but Drizzle cookies are my favorite. That's why I created a cookie company because I wanted to make my favorite type of cookie. So it's a softer cookie. It's not crunchy. It's not hard. It doesn't crumble. I've ordered cookies from a lot of places and like by the time they get in, they're kind of old, which people don't know this is why they kind of crumble when you bite into them or fall into little pieces. It's because they're getting old. Um, cookies should not do that in my opinion and in my knowledge to baking, which I've been baking for years. Um, but my cookies are soft and they are amazing and you can freeze them for up to three months, put them in the microwave for 20 seconds, right out of the freezer or set them out the day of, and they're amazing. So anyways, I don't even know what I got in here. I would tell you about my Ninja Creamy. So yeah, Ninja Creamy, I am a fan. Um, I'm about to make my breakfast. I just got home from the gym and then I'm going to see patients. We have a new couch being delivered today for the first time we are going to have reclining ends on our couch. We have not had any type of reclining chair or reclining couch since I lived at home as a kid when I was like 18. So I told Nick, we are real adults now. We are getting recliners. So that's about to be here any minute. They said they'd be here 8.30, it's 8.28. So, oh, there's the date. It's the 17th, 17th. All right, I gotta get crap done. You know, cardio is serious. I got my hair up in a clip looking wild. Okay, Bay just cooked me some rice. Such a good husband. He cooks all my chicken. Yeah, all my chicken, and now he's cooking my rice. Yeah, don't get paid for it either. <laughs> Peep the Ninja Creamy. What do we have here from Amazon? 12 rice cakes. Got a new couch moving in. Now we have three couches. Yep. Ah. 
I like this color though. I didn't think it was going to turn out, but it really matches our theme in here pretty good. We finally have a reclining couch. First time in what, 13 years? 13 and a half years. So we trained the legs at Optimum. We went and got sushi and now we're going to the lights. There's a crumble cookie right there, but we're not gonna go in there. Maybe not. Maybe we're both impressed. Continue to work hard. Nothing is gonna come easy. And every day I know I'm blessed. I'm truly, truly blessed. And I don't take anything for granted. Okay, you guys, it is five o'clock on a Friday night. Just got back from Tampa, long day. Last thing I wanna do is come to the gym again and do stairs. I hit legs pretty hard with Kara. I did an hour of cardio on the treadmill this morning and now I gotta go hit the stairs and I don't want to. I don't want to, I just wanna be home. Um, but here I am, gotta get this shit done. Hey guys, what's up? So I just got home from an orthopedic conference I had to go to today. Um, it's part of my continuing education to keep up my therapy license. Um, and you know, it's so funny is I didn't realize how many people I know in the therapy world. I mean, I know that I know so many people in like the fitness industry and like that's what I've really dedicated my life to the last few years. But I've been a therapist now for nine years and it was so cool to see like so many people in the industry that I knew. Um, first of all, my professors, two of my professors were there from college. That was so cool to see them. They wanted pictures with me. And then some of my old classmates from college were there. Um, some of my old coworkers from my very first therapy job were there. Some people I work with um, at the job I have now that they've moved on to a different job. My clinical instructor from when I was in my clinicals was there. Like, it was just so cool. It's like, dang, I didn't realize that I, you know, knew this many people. And there was like over 800 people there, they said. But it was really cool. Just, it was like um, some of the doctors here in Orlando getting up, talking about their surgeries. And then therapists would go up and give their input of like how we treat the patients after the surgeries. So it's always cool to see. Um... But yeah, it was a long day of just sitting. I haven't sat that long. Like I felt like I was in school again. Um, but I did keep getting up and going out and walking around a little bit. So I'm actually at 12,000 steps, which I did my 60 minutes of fasted cardio before I left the house this morning. I've been up since 4 a.m. It's now 4.41 p.m. and I have 20 more minutes of cardio. Um, I'm not doing the stairs today. So I'm only doing the stairs five days this week, Monday through Friday. Next week, I'll probably bump it up to six. Um, so my weight has not dropped at all this week, which, you know, you could get in your head about that, but I do feel like I'm looking better. Um, so we'll see, you know, we'll see this happens every prep. My weight gets to a spot and it just sticks. Like I've been at the same weight now for two weeks. I'm 113.0. I just can't get under the 113. Um, but that's okay. I got nine weeks to keep pushing. I'm going to keep pushing. So this coming week, I'm going to make a few changes. Um, I'm going to add in probably five more minutes on the stairs, six days on the stairs. I'm going to add in 20 minutes of incline on my treadmill walking. And then I'm going to cut my carbs by 10 grams. That's it. That's my only changes this week so or for next week. Um, so no big nutrition changes. You know, I don't want to cut my food too low too soon, which I am on low food, you know, considering what most people consider low. But, you know, it's I always have to go low food, but this is nowhere near as low as I was last prep. So, so far, like this will be my first cut, actually, really, since I started prep. Um, because other than that, I just cut out cheap meals and alcohol. So, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Um keep pushing just gonna keep on pushing you know i feel like i pushed pretty hard this week and uh, i've been getting salt baths too i think that helps a lot uh i've been pretty sore um so we'll just keep on grinding and see uh where it takes me